worth reading but at same time easy to go ahead with also more and more of garp uh garp specific ethics what uh, a professional risk manager has to uh, what a risk manager profession has to typically uh, get into how do you behave with your client what is the kind of uh, uh, how do you, uh, sorry what is the kind of professionalism or what is the kind of integrity that you have to bring into the risk management profession these are there with almost uh, every subject even a cfa has its own ethics frm has its own uh, uh, ethics so more or less uh, there is a kind of an overlap in all these practices so just even if you look at it there is something that is uh, talked off about professional integrity which is looks like an ideal thing but yeah the questions wise the way you get is like a simple case uh, or a simple uh, okay this particular person was in was a, was a certified frm and he was uh, doing this kind of advisory with the client so as per this so some kind of a situation would be given and finally uh, on that there would be a question asked did he violate any of the uh, code of conduct or he was in line with the code of conduct so probably it's better to read through some of the examples and based on that you should be able to handle it's more like good practices but of course in some cases you will get more of a confused kind of answers probably in some cases saying he has not violated versus he has violated so uh, understanding line by line is a very important uh, thing but of course even the whole reading if we see it doesn't span for more than a few pages so it doesn't take too much of a time to read even line by line of it but in an actual it is more like it looks as if uh, we know all these things but when it comes to the the situation we have to act as per the situation that's the major challenging aspect because here if we see it looks like okay you have to act professionally ethically with integrity in dealings with the employers clients ah, one more thing is about existing as well as potential clients and the public so every activity that you are doing it should be in the interests of the public and any other practitioners so judgment has to be very much uh, reasonable yeah the major uh, aspect being gifts one one major thing you have to differentiate between a gift versus a compensation right when we are talking about some benefit you are getting to provide some uh unreal 